Hey guys, just wanted to come really quickly and give you a review on my new hair color. This is it, y'all. So a lot of people like the color that I had before, and I did too. Um, but that was kind of an accident as far as coloring, because I had brown hair, and then I bleached some highlights in it, and then I went over it with the Garnier Herbishine Dark Burgundy, which is a semi-permanent that's supposed to um, wash out within 28 days. And so those of you that have bleached your hair, it can be damaging and um, you don't want to put like a permanent on top of that so that's why I went with that so my color was like a dark dark burgundy for a little bit and I knew it was gonna wash out and then it faded to that like goldeny reddish auburn brown color that I had which is really pretty but then my roots started coming in and so I had to fix it so I knew I kind of wanted to stay in the same color family so I picked up the natural instincts in medium auburn number 22 and some of you may have seen this picture for it that was the old box and so I knew it was between this one and then there was another one I think 23R and that's called like uh, it's something similar and it was like a shade like a little bit more vibrant than this one and I'm glad I went with this one because this is actually quite vibrant but yet still wearable I mean, I have to wear business casual, you know, I have to do stuff with my clients, do orientations, do trainings, and I don't want to be all looking like Elmo on my head. So overall, I like this stuff. You only leave it on for 10 minutes. It's very gentle. The um, conditioner that it comes with is very moisturizing, but you could tell it's chock full of dimethicone. So it's not the best for your hair because it's definitely not natural and neither is this. But I mean... I think the, the Urban Shine line is better for your hair because when I was looking at the ingredients, it doesn't contain sulfates as far as the actual dye. But whatever. I mean, I don't plan on putting this in my hair like all day, every day, so it's not a big deal. Um, but I really like it. My color, I'll show you a before picture of what color my hair was and so you can kind of see how it came out. And my hair feels really good. It doesn't feel damaged or gross or dry or stringy. It actually feels really good. Um, and then what's also cool is this comes with a color refresher that you put in your hair after two weeks to kind of like liven up the color again. And you guys know with reds, they fade really quickly. So this is really cool for a color booster for after two weeks. You know, you kind of just put it back in your hair and it's supposed to deposit just a little bit more, more color than it was before. So overall, I'm really happy. I love this line. Like I said, you leave it on for 10 minutes. Um, it's ammonia free. It's supposed to blend away grays. I have gray hair. I have a couple. And I don't see them. So I really do think it actually covered it. And so this is the supposedly expecting results. You guys can see. It's, it's pretty dark, but it's vibrant. And I really like it. So my roots are completely covered. You know, it's, it's even. And I really like it, y'all. So that's my new hair color, and that's my review of the Median Auburn by Clairol. It's definitely dope. I prefer these sorts of semi-permanent colors that are supposed to last between 28 shampoos. I like that a lot. It's just more gentler for your hair. And, you know, with me, if I put permanent color on my hair, you know, my roots come out, and it just doesn't look good. And I don't want to keep putting permanent and permanent and permanent hair color on my head because that's obviously damaging. And so that's it, y'all. This is where I'm at. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.